Right. So uh, tell us uh, about Profit First and how it works. Sure. So that's where right away I called a mentor and said, I think I'm going to like start a business to help people. And he said, have you heard of Profit First? I said, no. So I'll, this was a couple of years ago. So I downloaded that book right then, took 10 pages of notes and said, this is the framework. This is how I feel like investors that always dream about time freedom, financial freedom, all the freedom that they're wanting. This was the system to get them there because they can bring in the money, but everyone has trouble keeping the money like from a management perspective. So that's where this book just, I caught that vision and said, this is what we need to do. So yeah, that I started the company Simple CFO to start helping people implement profit first and be a fractional CFO. And there's the book there because then once we started implementing it with real estate investors and seeing it work and going out to Bill's office and seeing it start to work and how they had had it set up, then I reached out to Mike McCowitz and said, I'd love to write profit first for real estate investing because real estate investing is my background. And, you know, I want to make sure to get this message out. So I think that right there you can see it's officially out now profit first for real estate investing on Amazon. And this book is specifically tailored to the real estate investing industry. And this is to help manage the cash. And I could go into you know, like what that really entails and what that uh, does, Bill, if you want me to do that. But the book is officially out on Amazon there. So it's just. just yeah, I don't want to give you. I don't want you to do the book on the on the on the air here. We, we would like people to actually purchase the book. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's basically just what it says. It's taking your profit first. And yep. frankly, if your um, expenses are too high after you've taken your profit, then you need to do what? Lower your expenses right? <laughs> or increase your revenue or both. Yeah. And well, you know what's so so funny, and David, maybe you can talk about this. I think a lot of small business owners, especially in real estate, fall into that thought process of, I have to increase my expenses to increase my profit. Right. Do you, do you talk to a lot of people who, who have that mindset? Yes, and it's... It sounds logical, like, oh, I got to spend more here to make more over here. And sometimes that is true. Like if you, but what bothers me is that we make that from a gut feeling and not from data to be like, hey, this marketing channel does return 5X. I should more, pour more into this one, you know, because it's our best performing one or whatever. And usually our people are just going out there making the, the decisions, but they're not knowing if that's going to give them the actual return. That's where I like this system because it gives you immediate, it gives you immediate answers. Like we're all looking for clarity and control. I mean, that's what we want. We want the clarity and control in our business because what does that equate to freedom? It really equates to freedom. If you have control of your business, then you know that if I hired this person to take this off my back, I could go like Bill, you know, to a, an event or I can be like Wendy and go do other things, you know, or whatever it might be, you know, like you get that in that, that position, but we're all looking for that clarity and control. And I think just having a system that shows you, okay, this is where your money's going. This is the, this is where you should be spending it. This is how you should be managing it. Just puts that control back into your hands. Absolutely.